Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and as you might be able to tell from my voice, I am a little under the weather, but I wanted to shoot this special quick shot video anyway. As some of you may remember, in my review of Destro's Despoiler a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that the Despoiler had a docking feature uh, with the Iron Grenadier's Demon Tank, but I didn't have the Demon Tank. Well, one of our viewers, David Jones, sent me a Demon Tank, and I, I think that was just great. I really appreciate it, uh, so I wanted to thank David for that. Uh, not only that, um, David has been just super cool every time I've talked to him, so I wanted to say thank you, and I wanted to get this thing in front of the camera as quickly as possible so you could check this thing out. The Demon Tank was introduced in 1988, and it came with the driver, the Ferret, in mostly traditional Iron Grenadier's colors. Not a bad figure. Setting aside the Ferret to take a look at the Demon Tank, uh, this tank has a lot of features. One thing you might notice is the tank is very wide and low to the ground, um, and it uh, is very narrow. Not a traditional tank at all, um, but... Uh, it has a lot of features. Probably the most notable feature is the extending tracks. Um, it can, you can extend the tracks, both of them, connect them in the middle. And now, instead of the tank being low to the ground, now it's higher up, probably so you can fire over cover or something like that. Let's lower this guy back down so we can look at some of the other features. Um, we have six missiles and a, an elevating missile turret. Pretty cool. Um, we have a gun turret here that can pivot and it can also elevate on a ratchet very nice we've got a turret on the top right above the driver that can swivel and the infrared beam which it can also swivel uh, only one direction though it cannot turn to the other side it can only turn that way um, around to the back we have another gun turret a rear facing gun turret and some nice detail on the back and then we have a cockpit. You can open the cockpit by pulling it over to the side. It opens to the side. And we have space for three figures in there. We have a driver. We have um, what I guess is probably a missile operator or a gunner uh, facing to the side. And then we have a rear facing gunner there. And the ferret action figure can fit in the driver's seat, but it is a pretty tight fit. Um, this could stand to be just uh, like a quarter of an inch bigger, uh, longer, to fit the figure in a little better. You do have to squeeze it in pretty good, but you can fit in there. You can close the cockpit on the driver. Uh, so he does fit in there. So a lot of cox cockpit space uh, to fit three figures, but um, the spaces for each individual figure could stand to be a little bigger. Um, the middle seat is a bit better. Uh, he doesn't have to scrunch in there quite as much. Um, and then the rear seat um, actually is, has plenty of room uh, to fit a figure, and that's probably got the most space. Um, fits in there very nicely. Of course the gunner's head does kind of stick out the window a little bit, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but lots of features on this tank, and one of those features, as I said, is that it will dock with the uh, with Destro's Despoiler, and so why not show you that feature right now? This Top Gun has a couple knobs right here on the top, and those will connect on Destro's Despoiler on these underside uh, jet exhausts right here. Uh, and so you just connect that to dock Destro's Despoiler with the Demon Tank, and that's how it works. And it works, I think, pretty good. Uh, not a bad little feature. So that is the feature that I wanted to show you on Destro's Despoiler, but I wasn't able to, but now I'm able to, and that is thanks to Mr. David Jones. Thank you again, sir. That means a lot to me. I can't tell you how much that means to me. And thank you to everyone for watching, and uh, keep checking back for more full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews in the future. Thank you